Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan and today we are going to add conditional field in WooCommerce checkout page in WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we are going to install plugin. Now go to dashboard. On left side you see plugin. So click on add new. In search plugin, right. Checkout field manager. So this is plugin. Checkout field manager. Checkout manager for WooCommerce we will use. So you will install this plugin. So click on install now. Then click on activate it. Now plugin is activated. On left side you see WooCommerce and then you see checkout. So click on it. Now scroll down. You see billing. So click on it. Now you see all field here. Now we are going to add some field. Now you see button add new field. So click on it. Now in general section you see name, type, label, placeholder, description, default. Maximum length, minimum length. So you can add information according to your requirement. Now type drop down. So we are going to add radio button. Now select radio. Then you can add label. So we added some label text. Then on left side you see option. So click on it. Now we are going to add option. We added option label yes. Then click on add new option. Now write no. So you can add multiple radio button according to your requirement. Then click on save. Now scroll down. You see radio button added. Now we are going to add another field. So click on add new field. Then you can select type according to your requirement and then you can add label. Now we added some label text enable if select yes. If person select yes from radio section then this field enable. Now right side you see conditional. So activate conditional field requirement. And then you see parent drop down. Now scroll down you see this is label. We added select yes or no. This is radio button. And then you see value. Show field if parent as this value. Now yes or no. We added two option. Now select yes. So if person select yes. Then this field show. Now click on save. Now field is added. Now scroll down. You see we added two field. So click on save changes. Now setting save and go to checkout page and refresh the page. Now scroll down. You see radio section. So select yes. And then you see another field show. When you select no then hide. So you can add conditional fields according to your requirement in checkout page using plugin. Now yes field show. No field hide. So I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.